Thank you for knowing about that. You guys know a lot about me, don't you? <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourselves. <laughs> I laugh like a, a chipmunk. I used to, in high school, whenever I laughed, I sounded like a machine gun. And my friends used to duck under the tables in McDonald's where we'd go for lunch every time I laughed. So for about four years, I didn't laugh out loud. I just sort of did this. Which, you know, after a while, got really stupid looking. And so I finally, when I hit university and theater school, decided to, you know, put sound behind my laughter again. And just lately, it's, you know, people are laughing at me when I do it, so. <laughs> I think I might fall silent again. I don't know. Oh. Stop. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> um, well, if you do have some juicy jack stories, that would be nice. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I opened the door for that one. I have juicy stories. This is, this is something that, that uh, Terrell and I laughed about on set is um, we think we have an incredibly good-looking cast of males on our show. And uh, we're very fortunate to work with these attractive men every day. So consequently, when we have extras or background performers who come on the show, they, of course, have a tendency to look quite lovingly at our very attractive men. And um, the men, in turn, are quite appreciative of this notice that they're given. And Terrell and I do what we call the, the puff and ruffle <laughs> notice. And it's usually because the men start to puff out their chests and <laughs> ruffle their tail feathers a little bit. And you know, they start flirting and each of them has a different way of flirting, but it's all quite obvious. <laughs> uh, so the, I mean, I can tell you that. So, you know, if you ever see, and I don't actually even know that we've said puff and ruffle to the guys. We sort of say it behind their back, but all the women on the crew are aware of it. And, uh, you know, my stand-in, and we all said they're going, puff and ruffle time, puff and ruffle time, here she comes, here she comes, which one's going to puff first? So, yeah, I do that. I hope Christopher's not around. <laughs> That's the juiciest I can get without getting in big trouble. <laughs> it's a lovely group of people to work with, so I wouldn't want any of them on my bad side. <clears throat> Anyone else? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, what about uh, male guest actors? <laughs> I'm very demure. I don't puff and ruffle. <laughs> Usually, actually, oh wow, I just realized I went into my trailer, but that sounds so bad. <laughs> But the truth of the matter is I do, usually, because if, when we have male guest stars who I have to work with, like, um, you know, Nareem or Martu for my dad, um, we usually spend our lunch hours in my trailer working on scenes together. So it's really quite innocent. <laughs> so, but I guess if you were to put it out there, the men puff and ruffle on set and I invite them into my trailer. <laughs> there you go. I'm killing myself here. Also yesterday, someone in the autograph line came up to me and said, you know, in your talk, the other when you laughed and you covered the microphone, don't do that. <laughs> Let us hear what your laugh really sounds like. So we'll see. <laughs> but I don't want to frighten anybody. I don't want to cause anyone to have a stroke or dump under the chair. So if it happens spontaneously, be prepared. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>